Good morning, hope you're doing okay. Over the last few days in our Thought for the Day series, we've been looking at the book of Philippians, and today I'm going to be thinking about joy in endurance. So I'm going to be looking at chapter 1, verses 27 to 30, which is Paul writing to the church in Philippi. I'm going to read that now, verses 27. Only let your manner of life be worthy of the gospel of Christ, so that whether I come and see you or I'm absent, I may hear of you that you are standing firm in one spirit, with one mind, striving side by side for the faith of the gospel, and not frightened in anything by your opponents. This is a clear sign to them of their destruction, but of your salvation, and that from God. For it has been granted to you for the sake of Christ that you should not only believe in him, but also suffer for his sake, engaged in the same conflict that you saw I had, and now here that I still have. A number of years ago, I played amateur football for focus at right midfield and at right back was my dad and at centre midfield was my brother, uh, my older brother. And both of them take fitness really seriously for amateur athletes. So what would happen game by game would be my dad would be going past me on the right hand side on the outside and my brother would be going past me on the inside. And I was 17 or 18 at the time, so I should have been a lot fitter than I was. And they used to give me so much stick for being lazy. They used to say, Mark, come on, work hard. Have a bit of endurance. Don't give up. Fight. Fight back. Work hard. Um, so, but, I, but I, was, I was so lazy and I used to say, what's the point? It's just like, it's, it's too difficult. I don't want to try hard. I, I, I just, I'm not bothered if we win or lose. I'm a bit la lazy about it. I couldn't care less. So, like, and I didn't want to endure. So thinking about this joy in endurance, I was like, did they even go together? <laughs> well, obviously, we're not talking about physical fitness, okay? But maybe we can think about how we can find joy in endurance when it comes to the things that really matter in this life. So, at the start of this section, if you can remember, Paul is writing to the church in Philippi who will have been facing opposition. Paul himself, when he was there, if you can remember, was beaten when, when he was with Cyrus, was beaten with rods, was thrown in jail, had a really tough time. So these Christians in Philippi would have faced serious opposition. So that's the context of this new, new church. So Paul challenges um, these Christians in verse 27 to live in a way that showcases their new identity as Christians. So he's saying to them, you know, you've got a new master, you've got a, you've got a new master in Jesus, you've got a new home in heaven, you've got new loves and new desires in a way of seeking and honouring God. And because of all that Christ has done, because of this gospel, this should be well more valuable than anything else the world has to offer. So it could, you could be well, well more comfortable not striving forward, not enduring, but that's not worthy of the gospel, live in a way which is worthy of the gospel. And, that, and in doing so, showcase what your loves are. Showcase how the way you live and how you witness that these things, the gospel, is far more valuable to you than anything else in the world. So in this little small passage, how can we think about joy and endurance? Well, it might be helpful to see a number of different things. So first of all, we can maybe think about enduring by standing firm. In verse 27. So they would have faced all kinds of opposition. All kinds of difficulty. And Paul says to them. Endure. Stand firm. Plant your feet. Stay, stay where you are. Defend the gospel. Okay. Number two. He talks about enduring by striving forward. Verse 27. So not just on the de defence. But also push, push forward as well. So progress the gospel. Witness in your faith. Strive forward. Seek to be holy. Seek to live in a way which pleases God. And despite getting the opposition. Paul says in verse 28. That, that we should endure with confidence. He says. He says. Um, don't be frightened by your opponents. Because this, what's to come. Is much more worthwhile than the difficulty that you've got now and then point four he talks about a good way to endure is to is to endure in unity so he said if you look at these verses it says in in verse tw 27 stand firm in one spirit with one mind striving side by side for the sake of the gospel so to find joy in endurance you can't necessarily do it in your own you do it with, with those other brothers and brothers and sisters who are in christ and finally, endure with God-given purpose. So Paul's saying that this endurance, this suffering, these difficulties, it's a sign of your genuineness. 
This is what we went through. We, you remember when we were with you, we had to endure. You saw that our, ever, our genuineness was evidence in the suffering and the difficulties that we had to go through. It's proven what you are and the reward will be great. So, Christians, seeking to live a holy life who might be facing opposition and difficulty, endure. Endure by standing firm. Endure by striving forward. Endure with confidence. Don't be afraid. Endure in unity and endure with God-given purpose.